Supposed Bible Contradiction Matthew's Order of Temptations versus Luke's Order of Temptations Matthew chapter 4 tells us Jesus was led into the desert for 40 days and was tempted by the devil. First he was tempted to turn rocks into bread, and then he was tempted to throw himself off the temple, and finally he was tempted with all the kingdoms of the world. However, Luke 4 seems to order this differently. He says Jesus was first tempted by turning rocks into bread, and then he was tempted with all the kingdoms of the world, and finally he was tempted to throw himself off the temple. So what is the correct order? Well, this one can be resolved with a little common sense and looking at what each author says. First, the odd assumption is that everything in the Bible has to be written chronologically and cannot be written topically. But this does not even have to be the case by our own modern standards. In our own history textbooks, ancient history will often be written topically and not strictly chronologically. For example, we will often read a section about the entire history of Egypt, and then in the next section we will read about the history of China. But this does not mean the history of China started after the history of Egypt wrapped up. It means the author arranged different times topically in order to avoid confusion. We also do this in our everyday lives. Someone may ask you what you did on vacation, and you may respond by listing the highlights, but not in an actual chronological order. In the same way, Luke or Matthew can list the temptations of Jesus, but do it topically and not chronologically. And if we look at the actual words Matthew and Luke use, we can see that Luke seems to have arranged it topically, and Matthew has arranged it chronologically. In Encyclopedia of Bible Difficulties, Gleason Archer notes Matthew uses time-ordering words like then, in between each temptation, whereas Luke simply uses the word and. So Luke is not even claiming they happened in a specific order, but that each of these events happened, but not in a direct order, like Matthew says. And scholar Peter Davids notes Luke is probably doing this for dramatic reasons, he mentions the temptation in the wilderness, then moves to the mountains of Jerusalem, then to Jerusalem itself. Luke is focusing on how it all moves to Jerusalem as the center of Jesus' ministry and atonement, which is a theme he often draws on. However, even if this is not true, once we use a little common sense, we can see Luke is simply arranging topically and never claimed a list of temptations in an actual chronological order. Thus, this supposed contradiction can be resolved.